origin or an evolutionary um, process where you can see, okay, so here we have a, a tiny, tiny potato and then over time it grows into big potatoes. So there is no evolution in the potato, for example. So what does that mean? Or corn, my, maize, what does that mean? It means that perhaps this, all these things were given to us by extraterrestrials through either direct contact or direct panspermia. Genetically engineered in, in ancient times. Yeah, he's referring to the banana there too. Bananas are all over the world. Bananas are uh, a grass. They're the tallest known grass. And grasses reproduce either by seeds or by tubers. But the bananas that we eat, there is a primitive banana that has seeds. But bananas are all over the world. They're in Africa, South America, they're on remote Pacific Islands, and they have no seeds. So they're looking at ge bananas being genetically engineered over 10,000 years ago somewhere. They think that the origin of bananas is New Guinea and Northern Australia. But if, next time you eat a banana, I mean, <laughs> just imagine you're eating a seedless fruit that was genetically engineered thousands of years ago to be a, a complete food. Bananas are one of the complete foods. So they're, yeah, they're a mystery plant, like we were talking about. Another thing that I wanted to touch on is that um, we, in, in another upcoming episode, we have uh, Hugh Newman and, and David Childress went to the uh, to the northeastern United States. This isn't necessarily a new discovery, but it's something that a lot of people haven't heard of. And so, if, Hugh, if you want to tell us about the, the structures that uh, that you and, and David investigated um, in uh, in the Hudson Valley and in that whole area. Yeah, up in New England and also New York State, the Hudson Valley area, we find these megalithic chambers uh, and also throughout the area we have standing stones, there's even stone circles, other megalithic constructions and a massive dolmen called Balanced Rock uh, in Salem, New York which is just sitting there next to the road next to a small fire station and it's one of the largest dolmens I've ever seen but some of the research that's been going on here was based upon strange light phenomena that was taking place in the 1980s and 90s and 70s um, that was recorded and people actually not only did they see these huge triangular nuts and bolts UFOs they also saw these strange balls of light various different colors coming in and out of these chambers some, some research was carried out by John Burke and others and they found that these were energetic chambers they were manipulating earth energies they were built upon negative magnetic anomalies and this is what partly produced the light phenomenon. But the main reason for the construction, he found, was that it actually charged up seeds and grains, which then when planted had a much higher yield, stronger crop, more frost resistant and so forth. And exactly the same energy also